Today, I've got some mods that'll really step up your game. Because every great base starts with a good foundation. First up, we have a brand new mod called Stairs from Hee <laughs> Hee. The Stairs mod is so ridiculous, it literally unlocks a brand new dimension for our duplicates. Not only can we go up, down, but now we can go diagonal as well. What? So the Stair mod introduces three new buildings. We have the standard stairs right here, and when you kind of tile them out like this, they will just build a diagonal like that. Ah, super clever. And you can also flip it from left to right as well. The deluxe stairs do basically the same thing, but with a slightly higher decor, and they're made of refined metals and glass. Ooh, because they are really fancy. But if the stairs weren't even mind-blowing enough, this also introduces a new building called scaffolding. Now, while scaffolding might just seem like a horizontal ladder, it is actually something completely different. It can be built over buildings. So, wait, can we navigate from here to here? What? What if we wanted to build this right? Oh, wow, check that out. Oh, and it's considered a background building. Oh, isn't that fancy? Holy moly, the stairs mod is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> so let's say we wanted to build up something like this. Normally, we'd have to throw in ladders here in order to get to everything. But if we wanted to build that up, we could just use scaffolding to go right over here like this. And the cool thing about this is if you disable the building, the dupes will no longer be able to go on it. Here, come back here in the original duplicate. I want you to navigate over here just like this. And watch what happens when we start to disable this building. Which should happen automatically, by the way. Alright, so technically, no, you cannot move back over here because that has been disabled. Oh, that's pretty cool. Ha! What a fancy way to build up stuff. I wonder if it works with chain deconstruction. No. No, it doesn't. So the stairs mod is a really cool thing if you want to navigate your map in a brand new way. However, if you just want to get to where you're going fast, well, then I recommend the asphalt tiles. Now, as we can see here, the asphalt tile trades decor for outright speed. All of these duplicates have the athletics of zero. So here they go. Just like that. Now, in order to build up these asphalt tiles inside your base, you're going to need a new material called bitumen. Now, bitumen comes from the oil refinery once you have this mod enabled. You can see it right here. Every time we go to process crude oil into petroleum, we end up generating five kilograms of bitumen. Personally, I really like this mod because it allows you to use the oil refinery for something a little bit more productive rather than just kind of always taking your crude oil and trying to heat it up to the point where you just get petroleum out of it. This way you can build up a resource that allows you to increase the movement speed inside your base. And as you can see here, I've used asphalt tiles everywhere where I have duplicates moving around quite a lot. However, it should be noted that the decor that they give off is not really all that good. It's actually negative five for just one tile. Although when compared to everything else, well, they get overpowered quite easily, don't they? But look at that speed! And if you want even more speed, you can adjust how much the asphalt tiles will increase your duplicate's speed. By default, it's a 100% boost, but oh yeah, baby, you can crank it up. So if you go into mods here and you go under settings, you can crank this all the way up to 20X. Yeah! Let's just watch Turner here. Boom! <laughs> Whoa, dude! <laughs> Yeah, now that's fast. Now, while having the fastest tiles ever created is great, it doesn't really do you a lot of good if you end up running into a slow ladder. So that's where these next two mods come in. We've got Steel Ladder from Kareth and the Ribbed Fire Pole from Zokin. All right, so in this fine example, over here on the left, we have the standard fire pole, then we have the normal ladder that's in the base game, then we have the faster ladder, which is made of plastic. To the right, we have the brand new Ribbed Fire Pole. This will set you back 125 steel plus a little bit of plastic or visco gel in order to build this. And then to the right of that is the brand new steel ladder, which will cost 50 steel per tile. So one of the primary problems we run into when using a fire pole is the fact that you cannot go up very fast. It's very, very slow. And that's normally why you use a ladder right next to a fire pole. But let's show the example here. So you can see Devon over here, as compared to Ari, is maintaining a fairly good speed right there. Marie moves quite a bit faster because the steel ladder has a plus 50% run speed. Whereas the plastic ladder has only a plus 20% climb speed, I guess we'll call it. And then poor Ari over here isn't going to be waiting forever. Ugh! Ari! <laughs> oh my. 
However, when we flip this and we go down, you can see that the duplicate that is going to use the fire poles are going to move much faster here. There we go. Along with their movement speed, the ribbed fire pole has a plus 10 decor for a radius of two tiles, which is quite nice. And we can also see that the steel ladder similarly has a slight bonus to the decor as well, a plus 10 for one tile. So while both of these mods are practical upgrades to our movement needs, what if you just want to look cool? Well, let me introduce you to the wooden set here by Ronovan. This includes wooden mesh tiles, wooden airflow tiles, background and base tiles, and even a fancy new ladder. Now this mod, as you could imagine, works with the lumber that drops off of the arbor tree right here. So let's take a look at it. So this mod gives us the wooden tiles that look just like so, and these do have plus 25% run speed, just like your normal tiles in the base. They are made out of lumber plus another material like granite or igneous rock. We also have the wooden ladders as well and fancy little wooden doors just like so. Ooh, pretty cool. And if you go over to utilities, you'll find a wooden wall panel just like so. All right, so here's the wooden mesh tile and this thing is really interesting how it kind of lays out. Intr what? How cool is that? Then we also have the wooden airflow tiles down here. And those have a pretty cool look as well. These things are mostly cosmetic, so they really don't really change anything, except for they do, I guess, allow you to have an airflow or a mesh tile that isn't made out of a metal. You know, maybe you've loaded up a metal poor map rather than a metal rich map. Then something like this might help you really play the game a little bit differently. So that's pretty cool. Wood tiles are awesome. There are two additional tiles that are available here that look pretty cool. You got the mosaic tiles and then the marble tiles, which is the fancy tile renamed. So the marble tile gives you a plus 50% run speed right there, and ooh, has some nice decor. The mosaic tile requires you to build it out of ceramic, but it also has a plus 50% run speed and the same amount of decor around it. You can find both of these mods in the workshop under the name mosaic tile and marble tile by Carrot. I've used them for a long time now and absolutely love them. So up until this point, we focused on tiles that have to do with movement or look. However, there are other practical tiles that will allow you to do things like farming. Introducing the Aquatic Farm Tile by Santraz. This is a lot like the Hydroponic Farm Tile, except for it doesn't require a pipe input. So in this spot right here, you can see that we have some polluted water and I might want to plant something up like a thimble reed seed. So the cool thing about this farm tile is that it will absorb the water and deliver it straight to the plant without the need of having a pipe input. However, it has to be exposed to water. So to me, this seems like a perfect little extension to our farm tiles. There's another farm tile called the Insulated Farm Tiles from Boganon. So this introduces the two basic farm tiles, but in their insulated form. So it kind of helps you control the temperature of the actual tile itself, and then therefore hopefully control the temperature of the plant inside. So it comes in both the standard and then the one with the liquid input if you wanted to do that number. So I believe the purpose of the insulated tile here is to kind of replace the same situation where you'd have the hydroponic tile and then an insulated tile right next to it. So if we take a look at the temperature here, this is 18.1, 18.2. But what if we use a heat gun next to this stuff? How quickly will these actual tiles heat up? We'll bring in some serious heat up here. Oh yeah, there you go. So you can see just how much heat is up here on top. And you can see that the tile over here is going up very, very slowly. 19.5 as compared to 26.2 or something like that. So it's the same sort of thing as the farm tile and hydroponic farm tile. It just kind of replaces the need to have another insulated tile right next to it if you're trying to protect uh, an area from heating up. So that's what that tile is all about. But since we're looking at temperatures here, what if you want to know how hot the tiles are in this area? Well, welcome to the thermal sensor tile here by Stefan. This adds an automation sensor right here that can be built as a tile, just like that. Very useful for cooling loops and whatnot, or in this case, kind of a farm tile to say, ooh, if the temperature's cold enough, maybe we per turn this lamp on, which gives off just a little bit of heat. Hmm, 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 hmm. I can think of many things to do with this little tile. Super handy, I love it. All right, so while all of these were pretty cool, what if we've already grown all the plants that we want to grow here, but would rather, Ah, do it in more of a natural way. How do we go about building that stuff up? Well, what if I told you there's a mod that allows you to build natural tiles? That's right. Not only can you dig stuff up, 
but you can place that stuff back down like this. Ooh, look at that! Now this mod is particularly useful when trying to plant down wild plants using pips inside of their natural habitat. Now, of course, getting to plant with pips is quite complicated, so if you want to know the secret to how those are planted, then check out the video I did up here. The mod needed to build up these natural tiles is called Buildable Natural Tile by Cool Azura. There's also another mod called Buildable Dirt Tiles. Similar mod with a similar goal. And if you're looking to build up pip farms and whatnot, however you don't really want to deal with all the complexity here, may I recommend the simpler pit plant rule. One final mod here from A's allows you to rebalance the tiles if you don't like the properties that you've seen thus far, as far as the decor, the strength, or the overall run speed. So there you have it, my fellow duplicants, many tile mods to step up your game. If you have an idea for a mod list, go ahead and leave it in the comment section below with a nice punny title. Thanks for watching. If this looks like the channel for you, maybe consider hitting that subscribe button. As always, stay awesome, guys. Peace. Brothgar, out.